Hello, so today we're going to start a portrait of an expressive cat. And we looked at Henry Matisse's portraits and um, in particular the one of his wife and how it had, um, she had some green on her nose and some orange on the side of her face and how he used very expressive colors to paint her. So we're going to do that same thing with the portrait of a cat. So you're going to start with a curved line, straight line across the top two triangles across the top and then draw a smaller triangle inside each of the bigger triangles. Add a neck and then cat's eyes are the same shape as ours, ellipse shapes, so draw them nice and big filling up your cat's face. Then you're going to fill the ellipses with a very large circle, touching the top of the ellipse, swinging down and touching the bottom. And this is very similar to our eyes, but this is now we're going to do the um, pupil. And the cat's pupil is very different than a human pupil. A human pupil is just a circle, a black dot. Um, a cat's pupil is more like another ellipse standing up inside the circle. You can add some eyebrows if you want. You don't have to. Then you're going to do the nose. You're going to start with the letter V, straight line across the top, and then to do the top of the nose, the bridge of the nose, you're going to draw a diagonal line from the edge of the triangle up towards the in between the eyes, and do the same on the other side. A big W for the mouth, and then some whiskers. Now you're going to outline with permanent marker. Trace your pencil lines very carefully. And any pencil lines you miss, erase the pencil lines. So I missed a pencil line there. I'm going to give that time, the marker a little time to dry there. And then I'll go back and erase. You're going to color in the pupils of the cat's eyes with the marker. Okay, now you're going to use expressive colors, not realistic colors, but abstract colors, colors that aren't real. So you won't be coloring your cat gray or black or orange. And you can do stripes on your cat, you can do polka dots on your cat, but I want you to use abstract colors, colors that do not look real. And the way that I color is I color all in the same direction, so I don't color in scribbly directions. And I just color big spaces of one color. And then I change to a different color, fill in. Make sure you fill in all your white spaces. Don't leave any scribbly little areas of white. Now, you're not going to um, color the whole eye in, but you're going to color the circle part of the eye. And you're going to keep coloring until your cat looks like this. And then the final step for your cat is to cut your cat out and glue it onto black paper. And I want you to leave a white edge around. A lot of times I have you cut right against the black marker and cut all the white off. Well, with this one we're going to do it a little different. Since we're gluing it on black paper, I'd like to have a white outline. So I want you to cut next to the black, leaving a little bit of white all the way around. So that's going to get tricky around your whiskers. Okay, so notice how I have this white edge all the way around my cat and that's going to help make it stand out on the black paper. So then you're going to get a black paper. You're going to use a white crayon to write your name and the day you have art. Day A, day B, day C. You're going to flip it over and then you're going to flip your cat over and you're going to put a frame of glue along the edge. Don't put it too close to the edge so it squirts out. You're going to do a frame of glue all the way around. Add a little bit to the whiskers so they don't flip up. And then you're going to glue this to the bottom of the black paper. This neck is going to line up with the bottom of the black paper. Check left to right, so see it's going to hang off on that side, so I need to scoot it over a little bit. 
line up the bottom edge and there you have your expressive portrait of a cat. Good job.